Welcome to this meeting of the TSB Directors Ad Hoc Group on IPR. I'm sorry not to be with you in person. It's the second meeting since the Pattern Roundtable in October last year, which we organized to assess the effectiveness of RAND. The fact that the Roundtable brought together so many key industry players and regulatory players illustrated that some believe there are major issues to be addressed. I think we can all agree that the round table was an important first step to address these concerns, particularly around the issue of standards essential patents. I would like to thank you for acknowledging the need to address this issue and reach conclusions that will have positive repercussions for all – government, regulators, industry and ultimately consumers. Standards are an essential part of a functioning ICT ecosystem. However, we have to have a framework that acknowledges intellectual property as well as encourages innovation and fosters a competitive marketplace. The issue has not gone away, so I'm pleased that we agreed that this discussion should continue here in ITU. At the last meeting of this group, you began addressing the main concerns, in particular, the conditions under which companies that have made RAND commitments should be allowed to seek injunctions, and possible clarification of the meaning of the word reasonable in RAND. I am grateful that despite conflicting views amongst the industry members on the need to address these issues, there is a willingness to look at what the options might be, recognizing that many regulators at the round table supported the need to address these issues. That is why we need to have these discussions, to strike the balance between the interests. I would like to thank the US Department of Justice and the US PTO for contributing their recent policy statement on remedies for standards essential patents subject to RAND commitments, as I think it provides an excellent framework for your discussion. We have to ensure we continue to provide market players with clear, transparent, effective and up-to-date patent policies that work for the benefit of the industry as a whole. So I encourage you to consider possible draft text to address the issue of one, injunction relief, and two, on the meaning of reasonable in RAND. As before, I will leave you in the capable hands of Serge Reyes and Antoine Dor, and wish you a very productive meeting.